When I hit, they fall. I had many fights growing up, as most young boys do from where I'm from. Get into fights. I won some and I lost some. You do fight a lot when you're a kid. It is just part of growing up. Dublin, Crumlin, Tala, it's a very tough area. You have to watch your back. You grow up not looking over your shoulder, but you always need to make sure you're aware of what's going on. Most Irish people are tough. Being through tough times. Tough as nails, yeah. Us Irish. They say you're only as good as where you come from. But that never stopped him. And there's no talent here, this is hard work. This is an obsession. I am not talented, I am obsessed. He made a way for those like us. A way for the likes of us to win. There was no footsteps. I had to create my own footsteps and follow them. Their steps trace a path back to the ones like me. A generation of us rising to follow his lead. The UFC featherweight champion! A par kid from Crumlin. A plumber at 18. Connor knew he could be more. Knew he could fight himself free. I was thrown into a plumbing trade. Give it a about plumbing. Culture told me that that's what I have to do. Connor was born in Dublin City. Midwife turned to my wife and said, this guy is going to be a boxer because he came out of the womb with his fist clenched. We put his face in the alley. We scream his name. A nation behind him will give what he gave. I'm not here to take part. I'm here to take over. He fights beside us for us still in our cage to escape from a path that our birth prearranged. This culture defines something I won't accept. And because of this man, I won't carry this debt. He's like a modern-day Muhammad Ali. It's a great little setup that we have here in Cromer. The only thing that was in here when we walked in was actually this ring. That's the, the original ring. That's the ring that Conor McGregor fought in. Training is very hard. It's very intense. But Conor, he could stay over him. The harder it was, the better he liked it. He wasn't a bad boxer, you know, he was rough and tough. He believed in himself, and he's not going to be intimidated. And he has nothing to do with us. I'll shed every fear until fear is free of me. The life of my father will not write my eulogy. If greatness is within, then I'll sweat till it's found. I'll hit harder and harder. Till my life gets some ground. I'll train without ceasing, and I'll train till I'm broken. I'll pick up those pieces that I know there is hope in. Conor McGregor is an incredible person to look up to if you're young. He's kind of made Ireland a bigger country than what it is. To me, he's a hero from that. He's got this ability to make everywhere in the world seem like you're back in Ireland. He's a real Dubliner. He's Irish, he's proud of his roots. He was born to fight his way out on a path all his own. And wherever it leads him, this will always be his hope. It's good to have the support of your nation. I take great pride in my country. I love this place. The fate of the poor is that the poor free us. What honour that freedom rings. Notorious. So the odds here, because before the eight ounce glove ruling, McGregor said that he would knock Mayweather out inside four rounds. And according to the odds makers, a $100 bet on McGregor to win before the fifth round would yield you $600. McGregor then predicted an even shorter fight with eight ounce glove saying, if we're eight ounces, I'm struggling to give him two rounds. And Vegas is like, nah, bruh. They have him listed as a plus 200, 2,500. So that means Eves, that what you bet a hundred dollars win twenty five hundred dollars if he's able to do that in two rounds in summation vegas doesn't think that's going to happen basically 